What's up today my fellow Madden soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is another 50 out of 50 Dallas Cowboy theme team update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So with this update, I will be showing you guys all the players on my squad, offense, defense, special teams, and so forth. However, the main focus of this update is to show you guys the abilities, X factors, and strategy cards that I run on this 50 out of 50 Dallas Cowboy theme team because you guys have been asking me lately. With this new AP update, what do you run on your squad when it comes to abilities and strategy cards and so forth? So I'm gonna go through all that with you guys, so you guys see what I run. It may run, it may work for your your team, or it may work, or it may not. I should say, because it depends on what type of offense and defense and so forth that you run. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm what I'm working with. So Randall, we got 99 go Randall Cunningham. I know that Tony Romo will be getting an update soon, and whatever card he gets, he should be a 99 gold. I don't see him getting no nothing lower than that, and he will be our starter once we get him. But anyways, on Randall Cunningham, this is what I run. I put run and gun because it says Grant's perfect passing while on the run. So if we actually activate it. It's perfect passing while on the run, so I do run a lot with Randall Cunningham, and I pass at the same time, so I was like, why not try it? I have never tried it, so now I started using it. Threat Detector is our first ability, and what I like about this, I don't know if it went down in AP, but I know on the lineman, it went up to 3 AP, so that was a lot of AP, so I put it on Randall Cunningham because it's less AP. Um, once again, I don't know if they changed on the lineman or if they just changed the threat detector all the way around, but Randall Cunningham got it, so I added it to him. It highlights blitzers during pre-play on 34th down. Some of you guys don't care about it. You're just like, whatever, you know, I'll dot them or I could, I could feel the game about what's going on and uh, adjust accordingly. However, for me, I know very well when they're going to blitz on 34th down and if they, if I can see everyone who's coming. So if I see this dude sending his whole team or sending four or five blitzers, that with theirs are going to determine the defense, I mean the offense that I'm going to run. And 9 out of 10 times I'm going to convert or it's going to end in a one play touchdown. So that's why I like running a threat detector. Then I got dashing dead eye because it's perfect pass accuracy on the run up to 40 yards. That's usually about... Um, as far as I throw when it comes to up on the run, it's usually like a, a mid a mid play. So so that's what I, I, I like to put dashing dead eye. And it's actually pretty good. Most of the time I usually get the pass. Sometimes I don't. So it is what it is. Then we got roaming dead eye. What I like about this is it's perfect pass accuracy while standing in the pocket. So as long as you're within the pocket, no matter what you throw, it like compensates for any type of ability because you have other abilities that's perfect pass accuracy while inside the numbers, per perfect pass accuracy on all deep throws. This one here, as long as you're in the pocket, every pass is going to be perfect. I'm not going to say they're not going to pick it off, but you're going to you're going to have a perfect uh, passing. Then I put recuperation on Randall Cunningham. I thought that that was good because it not only is it one AP, but because I run with it, run with them a lot, and I also want to lessen his chances to fumble the ball if I get hit. So I, that's why I put recuperation because it's recover from from fatigue at an increased rate. The last one I put is Hot Rod Masters because now that means I don't really gotta add much abilities to my wide receivers because Randall Cunningham will be making all the adjustments when it comes to the receivers because he has the hot round master so i like it and it's only three ap so i'm happy with that if you guys want to see real quick his his uh attributes this is how he's looking so he's looking going out 97 speed 97 throw power a lot of 99s and in, in the high 90s when it comes to his accuracy and so forth now let's go to on Zach Martin, nothing really crazy. What I added to him was identifier because I like knowing where my opponent's at because that does help me determine where I'm going to go with it. If he's using his lineman and I see that, um, you can see it also without identifier, but you want to make sure because sometimes the CPU be, you know, making their own adjustments and you're thinking it's the your actual defender. So if I see him on the line, there's certain plays that I'm missing. I'll, I'll keep on throwing the same play until the guy gets off his line as long as it keeps on working because it, it doesn't matter. You're going to run. You're going to go on your D line. Nine out of ten times, I got some place for that so I could dot you. On Amari Cooper, what I like about this card is that I could run route technician on him for 2 AP. I also got double me. You know, if I activate it, you know, hopefully he'll make that catch. But it's not as effective as it was in previous Maddens. But once again, I could put route technician because he got 2 AP. Not all wide receivers have route te technician for 2 AP. So I just go ahead and add it to him. I usually don't add much to my receivers. 
but I had some x-ray piece so I added that to them so it actually works it works real well I wish I could add it on all my receivers but that would mean I would have to take a lot off Randall Cunningham and I he needs to be the most juice because he has to get the ball to, to the receivers maybe later on I might take some stuff off him to mix it up but for now Randall Cunningham needs to be juiced out and Amari Cooper has reduced AP when it comes to route tech so I added it to him on Marco Parsons I have what he, what he came with the only thing that I added was an X factor but everything else whatever he came with it I have so I put Fright Train as an X factor and then he has Red Zone Threat as well as Tank and to me this card is working insane for me I want to show you real quick my, my, my backup is even a higher overall which is Tony Pollard but the thing about Tony Pollard, he's fast. He's actually a pretty good card. He don't fumble it as much as long as I have recuperation and, 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 and energizer on him. So that's what I have on him if it's activated. But I'm not going to be using him that much because Michael Parsons is our starter. But if Tony Pollard was our starter, these are the two abilities I put on him. Recoup energizer and recuperation. That's all that matters. I don't care about any other abilities because he's going to run effectively. I just care about him not fumbling the ball because without those, he has a higher chance of fumbling and he will fumble it just to let you guys know. But Michael Parsons, I can have those abilities on him and he's just smacking through tacklers. He's breaking tackles. It's insane. So that's why I placed him as a starter because his his routes and everything is, is insane. Someone asked me how did I get Michael Parsons to a 98. He's no longer a 98 because I took certain... Um, the out of position players the backer baller players out of my lineup so that kim is no longer activated but once i had a certain amount i think i had like 10 backyard ballers as well as other kims that come on my offense so that's why i juiced him up to a 98 but because i took those players out he's back down to a 97 to me i really don't care because he's goonish either way so on offense that's about it that's all that i'm running and it works great for me now let's go to our defense our defense is where it's at because our defense is the most juice we have 18 ap and majority of our defenders have an ability majority of them have ability or if not they have an x factor because i want to make sure they look goonies out there and a lot of the ap is a lot cheaper when it comes to certain op abilities and we got more abilities to work with okay so to make it simple for you guys on our free safety, our strong safeties, and our cornerbacks. So basically, our defensive backs. So I just, I just, I, I want to tell you guys like that too. Free safety, strong safety, and cornerbacks because some people may not know what a defensive back is. So I want to make sure that I spe specify it. So our defensive backs, safeties, cornerbacks, they all have acrobat on them. All of them do. And a big reason why, because it's only two AP, and the ability is OP. So there's nothing outside. I mean, it'll be nice to have other other abilities to run on them, but and I, I can't put all the abilities on every cornerback and defensive back because we just it's just not gonna happen. They won't allow it. But so I gotta put the most OP one and it's not that much not that much AP. It's only two A it's only two AP and I can put them on all of them and it's it, it works very effectively. You guys know that already. If you guys don't know that, you guys need to have acrobat on your defensive backs. And I put out of my way. And the only reason I put out of my way is because it's zero AP on Cam Chancer. That's the only reason why. If I had to pay AP for it, I wouldn't put it. I must because I'm not even thinking it's really that OP. But once again, I had to pay for it with training, but it doesn't matter because it's zero zero AP. So that's all that's all that matters to me. On Demarcus Square, I think I put shut down on him because it really didn't matter. I use him a lot for my spy. So I put shut down on him because as he's spying out there, if he ends up intercepting the ball and stuff like that. Then it makes him much more effective and he has a better chance of activating that on all my linebackers and on michael parsons i put lurker on all three of these guys so michael parsons and both of my middle linebackers i put lurker and i also added one more ability on michael parsons which i think is no outsiders whatever so yeah no outsiders and the reason why i added no outsiders is because it's only one ap if it was two ap i wouldn't have did it it's only one ap so it's actually reduced on them so i added no outsiders and it's very effective and if you guys want to know what michael parsons i have i only have the 96 overall michael parsons so he'd be it's power, powered up to a 97 and and with blue kims he's up to a 99 so i don't even have his last limited edition i really don't feel that i need it if i'm able to get it for cheap later on i'll pick him up but for now I'm, I'm happy with just the Michael Parsons I have right here. He works just fine, so I'm cool with that. Now let's go to my lineman. On Randy Gregory, I think I got no outsiders or no or inside stuff. 
So yeah, I got Run Stopper actually. Shed attempts are free on run plays. And the only reason I did this is because it's only one AP. So that's why I did it. And it also works pretty well. I'm not gonna say it's gonna work every play, but it's also pretty effective. And this guy, I'm gonna tell you right now, Randy Gregory is a goon out there on the field. This guy out of anybody, him and Demarcus Ware are always making plays. All right, so now Javon Hargrave. I know some of you guys are telling me why you got this Eagles on my team. Let me tell you. I'm going to show you guys right now his attributes. It's insane. And as a defensive tackle, why not have him on here? He's one of the ones I got for free, and he's doing his job, so that's all that matters. He got inside stuff. I, needed, I, I at least needed to put it on one of my linemen, so I put it on him. It's only 2 AP, so it's not bad. Um, however, I, I just need it on one lineman because it's actually pretty OP. Um, and they actually shed real quick when it comes to run plays and they stop a lot of plays So that's why I did it because I seen it with my own eyes that it works So at least have one of your D linemen with inside stuff if you want to put them all that's fine But I would encourage you to at least put it with one lineman because it does work out real effectively His attributes go ahead and look at it. He's up to a 98 overall on our squad too With blue cams. He has 90 speed not many def defensive tackles get 90 speed. Yeah, you could substitute left ends and stuff like that as defensive tackles. But him as a defensive tackle where I don't have to go through that is already 90 speed, 95 acceleration, 92 strength, 97 tackle, 96 play rec, 99 block shed, 95 power move, 97 finesse move. And he comes in at 6'2", 305 pounds. So, yes, I'm going to keep him on my squad. And like I said, he's a goon on it. If later on I get a better defense tackle, I'll add him. But for now, I'm, he's not going to go nowhere. I got him free. I powered him up. So I'm going to keep him on squad for a while. I would like another defensive tackle, especially a Cowboy if they get him. If they get nothing but 99 gold Cowboys or higher overall Cowboys than this, I will definitely pick them up and swap them out. However, this is what we're working with. But we're desperately in need of more defensive tackles. Okay, so on Ed Too Tall Jones, let's go ahead and check it out. So he actually doesn't have no... Oh, because I forgot to take it off Demarcus Lawrence. Let's go ahead and back out. So Demarcus Lawrence, okay, here we are. Demarcus Lawrence is the one that has it. Okay, so this is what I did. I, I'm gonna. I probably end up putting something on. I'm um, to Todd Jones, but not right now. So what I do with with because I put inside stuff on him, and the reason why because he, he gets once again it's it's OP, and Demarcus Lawrence gets it for one AP quicker run sheds against inside zone plays. He only has it for one AP, so that's what I put on him. And yes, I do substitute him as a defensive tackle as with Javon Hargrave. So they're both in there at times, but I do substitute them out. So that's why I added them to him. Even though he's my backup left in, I put I substitute him in in game as a defensive tackle. So we can work go ahead and uh, use that inside stuff with it. So that's why I did that. Um, later on, I might add something to add to John Jones. I'm not really that... Um, I'm not really tripping on that because DeMarcus Sorens has the other one and I'm going to substitute him as a defensive tackle. Um, if anything, I let him do what he does on his own because he's so tall and he can swat down plays. And sometimes I'll even use him as a spy. DeMarcus Ware is usually my spy, but I'll use Ed Tuta Jones too because he's pretty fast. If you guys want to see his stats, look at his stats. 97 speed. 97 speed as a left end. 95 acceleration. 93 strength. 91 tackle. 99 play rig, 99 block shed, 99 power move, and 98 finesse move. And he comes in at 6'9", 271 pounds. That's crazy. All right. So that's what we're working with right there. That's all our abilities. Now let's go ahead and see our special teams. The only thing that I'm running on my kicker is focus kicker because I like the slow meter. It's very effectively, especially when when you're online and it starts tripping and or it's going too fast or it's glitching, I can still kick a more accurate kick with that slow meter. So that's why I would love to run these abilities on the squad, but it don't, it don't allow me to run it. We still only got two AP. I can't even run this. Even if I go here, unless it was zero AP, I would do it. But see, you go right here, it's two AP. It's two AP, that's cool, because you can have focus kicker and jukebox, but I, I, if I have to pick anything, I'd rather have a kicker. I, I'm not tripping on the punter. If Ronald Cunningham was a kicker, it'd be different, but he's not. He's a punter. So at least for now, I didn't activate that. We just got focus kicker on our kicker. So that's all that matters to me. This is the special teams. This is how it's looking right here. Straight gunged out. Our strategy cards. So let's go through, go through that. I got deep route specialist, which gives plus one speed to my wide receivers. But on the real end, it don't give no speed boost. However, it boosts up the wide receivers and tight end. And it's insane because there's tons of slots open. 
So that's what I want to show you. So we got all these slots open up. So that's why the wide receivers and tight end are juiced up. And that's why my tight ends are 99 overalls because of that. I also got heavy blitz. It don't give a speed boost, but it, it, it actually boosts up the whole defense. So all the defense get the heavy, heavy blitz chemistry. Bull rush. I put this on it like it really don't matter. I usually I, go, I switch it out between this and in the zone and stuff like that. But what I like about this, it boosts up your DNs, defensive tackles, and outside linebackers. So basically, all your linebackers, defensive tackles, and DNs, those positions that usually um, a lot of people don't take care of. And if they do, they can only maybe take care of a de defensive end or so forth. But this right here takes care of all of them. So that's why I put that in. And that's why, um, was it? Let me see. Oh, Jay Ratliff is up to a 97 and so forth because it's juicing up those Kims. Heavy blitz mixed with blue uh, uh, bull rush is insane. And you guys already know our visuals. We got John Madden on the squad, and he does get the Cowboy Kim, so I added him as our coach. All right. So, yeah, so that's why you see that our defensive tackles are juiced up because of that. And also, Lathan Vanderish is up to a 98 because of those abilities and so forth. The only thing that it would juice up if I put in the zone with Taylor Mays would be up to a 98. But he's the only one, though. Everyone else is juiced up. That would only make the difference. So, I'm cool with what, I'm, what I have right now. But anyways, there's the squad there. There's everyone I have on my team. There are all the abilities, X factors, and strategy cards that I use. If that's what you would like to use, add them to your squad. If you would like to use certain things and switch up other things within your team that's cool let me know what, what abilities are op for you let me know any recommendations that you feel i could run um within the scheme that i run so and if and if i like it and i try it out and it's cool i'll go ahead and add them to my squad but anyways i'm gonna leave it right there if you guys like seeing what you've seen drop a like on the video if you guys ain't sub sub to the channel there will be more great amazing content coming your way thank you guys all for tuning in i'm out